Everybody grab your cups. It's time for the On Your Now show. And Lady O, guess what? It's Friday, Friday then. then. It's Saturday, Saturday Sunday, Sunday what? It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday what? Let's, Let's go. go. Good morning, good morning, everyone. It's Free Your Mind Friday, and I am your host, Tracy Barry McGee, also known as Divine T. And I'm your co-host, Yolanda Langford, and you know what they call me, Lady Yo. That's right, Lady <laughs> Yo. It's Friday. Yes, ma'am. Free Your Mind Friday. Yes. All about the vibrant vibes, and the summer is officially here. Oh, my goodness. I got to ask you, what's in your cup? Green tea, Tracy, you know, divine tea. I'm drinking green tea. How about yourself? Well, you know what? I'm drinking my coffee, black, no sugar, no cream, you know, but I should be drinking the chocolate because you all know we got <laughs> Will down in the house. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is going to be such a treat. His voice. Yes. Is unique, it's honey. Everything. It is everything. And I'm excited about it. You know, he makes me go crazy. Yes, girl, you make me go crazy. I, I got to ask you, girl, I'm like, yes. I know, you know, he's been performing for over 35 years. Yes, 25 albums, 25 albums. Strong, strong, strong. <laughs> Speaking of strong, just like our coffee and our tea. What is your favorite Will Downing song? I, I want to sing, but I know I shouldn't. So I'll just say it. I try and, and I, I try, try and I try. <laughs> yes, and I try. Yes. Okay. What's your favorite song? Am I not enough? Because I try and I try. I'm going to try some more. <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more. You know, my favorite song is A Million Ways. And to why? Be a woman. And why? I, because it's everything. You know, a man needs to know there's so many ways. Yes. As well as I can't not talk about his duet with Rochelle Pharrell, y'all. Yes. His duet with Rochelle Pharrell. Nothing has ever felt like this. Well, you know, I'm looking forward to some exclusives and we got them. So everyone yes, needs to do. stay tuned. Yes, we do. Y'all get your cups ready. Be prepared because when we come back, it's all about the vibe in the box. We have the, the Will, Will Downing. Downing. Yes. <laughs> Dad. Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Life is all about the journey. Life's curves, hitting the road fast or slow. Celebrations, anniversaries, and birthdays. Everything in life is about moving forward. Whatever direction you choose to go, 
Go far, go in style. New or used, go with Frazier Automotive. What's going on, everyone? My name is Will Downing, a.k.a. The Prince of Sophisticated Soul, the POS, the P-O-S-S, Prince of Sophisticated Soul. Keep watching the Own Your Now show on Ah TV Network. As promised, Grammy-nominated Prince of Sophisticated Soul, his distinctive baritone voice has resonated in the hearts of women worldwide. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Mr. Will Downing. <laughs> good morning. What's going on, ladies? Good to see you all. Good to see you, too. And you know, that smile is everything. Uh, on the Own Your Now show, we always ask people, what's in your cup? What do you sip on in the morning? Is it coffee? Um, is it tea? You know what? I normally have like some ginger tea to kind of wake me up and okay. wake everything up inside of me. So it's good to get in and it gets everything out. Okay. That, is that for, to get the vocals together? Yes. <laughs> get the vocals together a little bit. Every and, day. I, and I'm not going to try to sing, though. I'm not going to try to do that. <laughs> well, you know what? If you had some ginger tea, you'd probably sing better. Okay. I just had I'm, I'm guessing here, and it's probably wrong, but, you know, yeah, that's what I got. We'll take anyway. that. Well, you know, you are our Vibe in the Box guest, and we just want to congratulate you on staying in this industry for over 35 years. I got to ask you, when did you know that you had this baritone voice that just soothes the soul? Uh, you know, I didn't. I was I studied music in school, uh, but I wasn't going to do this as a living. I was actually going into the military. And I wasn't old enough to go in, so I had to like sit out for a year. And during that year, I started working on music a little bit more. And I went off to college for a year, and then I just said, you know what? I'll just uh, I'll just do this full time. <laughs> or try, or try to do it. It, it really was that dumb. I mean, wow. me and my buddy were going into the Marines. We were going to do the buddy buddy program straight out of high school. And when I went to go sign, they said you're not old enough. And you have to get permission from your parents. And I took the paperwork home to my to my my mom and dad, especially my dad. And he's been gone for six years, and I can still hear him laughing right now. Uh, with with <laughs> me saying, you know, the first thing he said was like, "You and my buddy Ralph, he said, you and Ralph are going to protect the nation. You two, <laughs> two of you guys." And so he came, he laughed, and he was like, "I'm not signing that nonsense." And so I had nothing else to do. So I was like, well, you know what? I guess this music thing, let me just try it. And I just kind of stayed on it and kept doing it and, you know, got in contact with a lot of folks. And one person called another person and I got a that's gig. And another that's, one that's another one. And, you know, that's how we got started. So, yeah. Well, let we me are, tell you, thank we you. are <laughs> thankful, thankful that your dad did not sign that paperwork. That's right. that's you know, right. you are known for love songs. I want to know, are those your personal uh, words that you're singing or, or, or does it come from your imagination? Well, a little bit of both. I mean, I think that you can't perform a song unless you've kind of lived it. So I have songs that are like real life experiences, songs like Sorry I, which is like Ooh, very yes. personal. Stories. So yeah, um, you know, can't get any more personal than that. Uh, and it's a, it's a funny song because for those who know the song, um, women hate the song or they hate me for singing the song. <laughs> and, and men normally kind of like, man, it's like you were there. <laughs> you know, like, like you that's tell my them a story. Life. You know, it's yes. kind of like when you're in church and the preacher start talking, you say, like, did he know what I did did yesterday? Did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. So, I mean, songs like those, they are or a song like that. That's a true life experience. And then I have songs that I've remade over the years by amazing artists. A yes. uh, song like a song like I Try by um, Angela Bofill. Oh yes, I, yes. I was just so I try is I try and I try and I try. <laughs> uh, that's one of Lady O's favorite yes. songs. And um, when I thought about, so I know that Angela Bofill wrote that song. Mm -hmm. You have performed duets also with so many different people. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, we love Rochelle Farrell and yes. you know um, Shantae, Shantae Moore. Moore. Yes. <laughs> And recently, Mesa, you know, the warmth of you is everything. Is there oh, someone man. that you say, I, I would like to do a duet with? Who else is it? Because I know you've done men and women, Gerald Arbor, everyone. But who else yeah. is on well, your Well, I list? have two people that we have been for years telling the same lie over and over again. So one is Anita Baker. Okay. Every, That's a good one. Every time I see Anita Baker, we, you know, we, we embrace and then we go, 
girl, yeah, boy, we got to do a song. Ooh, we got to do a song together. God, we all, oh, our, our voice would sound so good together. And we do all that. And then she goes left and then I go right. And then 50 years go by and then we see each other again like, oh, girl, we got the song. We got the song. So we never have gotten to do a song together. So the other one is Layla Hathaway. Ooh, wow. Yes. Yeah, I, I tour with Layla all the time. We do a bunch of dates. Matter of fact, we saw each other two times last week, but we've never done an official recording together. So oh, we've toured together a lot. We appear in a, a bunch of places together doing various things, but we've never done a proper Ooh, recorded yes. Yes. So those are my two. Well, you know, I'm gonna go That's back it. to your, you singing with Shantae Moore. I was um, at the landing watching you all, and when you were singing, Mm -hmm. I was just engrossed and I was like, oh my goodness. It was yes. just so intense. And I'm not, you couldn't, you just believed every word. So I just had to put that part yeah, in there because, yeah. oh my, I, I, it was good. I, I really do think that, um, we, I, I love Anita Baker. She's one of our favorites. I could really see you and Layla. Yes. That, like that has yeah. got to happen. Got to make it yeah. happen. <laughs> I, I, think she, I think she's just torturing me at this point, you know, because I keep begging. I think she just likes to see me beg. I'm like, come on, we got to. She's like, oh, baby, I just finished doing a duet with Moon Child. I just finished doing a duet with Eric Roberson. I just finished doing a duet with so-and-so. I just don't have the time, Will. I don't want to so overexpose. I think she's afraid of me. I think she's scared. Oh, oh come on. Cause you're she's scared. She's scared. Well, we'll sing. We'll sing. We'll sing with you. We'll, we'll sing with you. Oh lord! Can't do better than that. We, we got to get that ginger tea because we could do yeah, it. Yeah, there we go. You know, um, you have definitely been performing for many years. You're back out on tour now. We are a wellness show. How does that feel to be back out here post pandemic? Well, it's it's interesting because it, it's funny because obviously you know the 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 numbers are. It's, it's one minute they're up, one minute they're down. Right. Like put, put your mask on, take your mask off. So it's weird, you know, because we go out and we do these shows and we're on the planes and you see folks, you know, some don't have their mask on, some yeah. do. You do the concerts, you're afraid to shake someone's hand, but at the same time, yeah. they go, I'm double vaxxed, I'm triple vaxxed. <laughs> so it's, a, it's an odd thing from that perspective. Uh, from the entertaining standpoint, we are ecstatic to be back to yes. work. Yes. Um, it, it makes you appreciate life a lot more uh, and what you do for a living after sitting out for that extended period of time that we all had to. Yes. And I think it kind of renewed everyone's faith in what you do. Yes. Yeah. So you know what yes. I like about you is you are music through and through. Yes. During the pandemic, you had a wind down Mm -hmm. Radio. Yes, Ryan yeah. Down Radio. You, you just took it to another level, and that's how you know you're a true mu musician uh, when it's in your heart, and you want to share not only your music, but other people's music, too, and just keep us all entertained. Yes, yes. I, I wonder, Absolutely. like, when you think about your playlist, because, you know, we listen to you all the time. Mm -hmm. We've gotten married to you, your vo <laughs> voice and everything. <laughs> baby's and been, bo hear, baby's been born. Look, 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 look. <laughs> but I want to know, like, who who's on your playlist? Who do you listen? Who, who does Will listen to? You know what? I listen to a lot of classic stuff, but there's a lot of, you know, new, young, up-and-coming artists that I check out as well. Um, the industry has changed so much that when I was coming up, like, you developed a career. Yes. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm 25 albums in. And yes. that, is, that is absolutely unheard yes. of these days. So there's all these young artists that are out right now. They kind of come and they go, but they're unbelievably talented. And then I like the classic stuff as well. Like even for my radio show, which you guys just mentioned, the wind down, which I'm doing uh, right now. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I ain't, I ain't getting you off the. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're good. We understand. We understand. I'm, we're tuning. Yeah, in. I'm, I'm putting it together. But we just lost a, a, a giant. Uh, yes. in the industry, a keyboard player and, and writer, producer, and artist as well, uh, Bernard Wright. Mm -hmm. So um, he's the one who did, who do you love? Are you sure? Yes, yes. So that was his biggest hit, but he's had a ton of amazing songs that he's recorded over the years. And when I went back and had to put my playlist together, that was when I was like, a, a bunch of songs that he's done. I was like, my God, you know, music is something else. So I listen to the classic stuff and I listen to the brand, brand, brand stuff as well. That's yeah. why he's so well-rounded. Yes. That's why he's so well-rounded. Yes. You know, it's an exclusive. You are coming to St. Louis. That's and nice. I want to announce to our owners, we're going to be giving away two tickets. Yes. To, yes. Go, <laughs> to go see Will Downing. 
Tell us, what can they expect when they see you uh, in St. Louis? Well, you get the best of what I've been doing for the last 30 something years. Uh, as I said before, I'm 25 albums in, so we pull songs from each one of those, or as many of the albums <laughs> as we can. And we'd be there, we'd be there all day if I did everything. But uh, so we do all the smashes, we do Nothing's Ever Felt Like This. Um, we do uh, like one, a couple of duets that I've done with Mesa. Uh, <laughs> Million, ways. Million Ways. Yes, yes. I we Try. Tonight. We do I Try, we do I Go Crazy, Stop Looking Listen. I did an album with Gerald Albright called yes. Pleasures of the Night. Pleasures uh, and we night. did a remake of Stop Looking Listen, so we do that. So it's it's a it's a pretty packed show. Okay. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, I, I think a lot of people uh, have, unfortunately, you know, they kind of look at your they look at your career and they kind of think that they have what you do down to a science mm -hmm. and yes. they kind of put you in a box and they kind of go, oh, well, you know, it's kind of smooth, it's a little slow. It's like, yeah, you probably need to come to a show and come check it out. That's right. Well, we let have, me say this. We have a lot of fun. Yes, I, can you give us just a little snippet of something? <laughs> and listen, they, they wouldn't come to the show if I gave it to them now. <laughs> Because you know, then you call me back in five minutes. Doing, Give me a little snippet. Of Give me a little more. Before you know it, you got a show. It's like, <laughs> look, look no. now we we will make sure that we are there. You know, um, one of the things because you you said it earlier, so many different mm. um, young people are out here trying to do what you do and, and be out here forever. 25, 25 albums in is just outstanding. Mm -hmm. What would you tell your eighteen year old self? Um, to be consistent. You know, be yourself. Uh, they always say that cream rises to the top. Yes, that's and true. And I, I think that the the one thing that has sustained me all these years is the consistency. You pretty much know what you're going to get when you listen to one of my projects. I just try to do a, I try to be a better version of myself each project. I like that. Yes. And and that's the whole point. You sing about things that are relevant to yourself, things that are realistic. Yes. You know what I mean? I always hear people talk about these incredible things that they have and the things that they do. And I'm like, hey, yes. come on yes. now. That come part. on now. You ain't doing all that. That part. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> so, that part. That that part. part. <laughs> so on the Own Your Now show, we always ask, what is your affirmation word? What is a word that means something to Will Downing? You know what? It's as I, the older I get, it is about love yes. you know love yourself love others uh and to come to the realization that you know life is it really is short it's all yes. the old things that you would hear from you know your grandmother or your mother or your, your your father your grandfather whatever it is and they would say these things and then back in the day it's like you you you, you heard it but you heard it so much that you didn't understand it yes. and the older i get i'm starting to understand all the things that they're talking about, you know, uh, or even like old gospel songs, like I won't complain. Yes. I've yes. had my good days, I've had my bad days, yes. but Lord, I won't complain. Yes. yes, You know, so I back then I didn't get it, the older I get, now I kind of get it. You know, like this thing don't last long, so make your contribution to life and to, to society and That's pass so down nice. your legacy to your children and just try to be a good person. Yes. And, you know, Yes, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Love. love. That's it. You know, Will, we, we want to thank you for saying yes. We want to thank your dad for not signing those papers. Uh, <laughs> you know, you have brought Probably us. Probably the government is happy, too, that I <laughs> in the military. Well, well, who's that guy running the other way? Oh, yes. <laughs> that's <Damn> Will. <laughs> and his friends. Yes, and his, and his and friends. His friend, right? You know, this is what it feels like when, when we stay connected to good music, you know, uh, even you um, giving your ode to gospel, God is amazing. And, and the fact that you also talk about the people that have passed on, your music just lives forever. We love it. We uh, appreciate you. Thank you so much for being our Vibe in the Box guest. We want to thank Will Downing for saying yes to us. You all need to make sure that you catch him on tour. When we return, get ready for the Own Your Now Flow. What's going on, everyone? It's me, your man, Will Downing, a.k.a. the Prince of Sophisticated Soul. Yo, St. Louis and surrounding cities, I am coming to your town on June the 11th in Chesterfield, a place called The Factory. Now, I'll be there at June 11th, which is a Saturday. Come on out and come hear me do my classics, Million Ways, Nothing's Ever Felt Like This, I Try, I Go Crazy, Everything I Want, My Lady, and material from the latest release, which is entitled Sophisticated 
Elevated Soul. So it's an evening of great music at the factory in Chesterfield, all right, on June the 11th, a Saturday. Come on out. Come see your boy, Will Downing. I'll see you there. It's almost showtime. Will Downing at the factory along with G Thang and Julius Williams. Yo, St. Louis, I am coming to your town on June the 11th in Chesterfield. The factory. When I look your eyes, Will Downing at the factory along with G Thang and Julius Williams. Get your tickets now. They're selling fast at the Factory Box Office. Open Fridays 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. or get them online at Ticketmaster.com. This is sirloin. Tastes like filet mignon. Best beef in town. Who taught you how to grill it like this? I got a guy. I got a guy, too. We've all got a guy. Well, my guy is kind of... Yeah, and he's got that... Wow. Same guy. Same guy. Top quality meat. I love that guy. And great advice. Who's next? Another reason we'll see you at Schnucks. Hello, St. Louis. It's Cedric the Entertainer here, back in my beloved hometown with my sister, Sharita. We are so excited to continue our support of SSM Health Foundation St. Louis. We must continue our efforts to raise funds so that we can assure that all the amazing, generous, and loving women in our lives have access to the health care that they deserve. Visit give to SSMHealth.org slash women's health to learn more. So now it is time for the Own Your Now flow. Again, we want to thank Will Downing for owning his now with the Own Your Now show. Lady O, sophisticated soul. Yes, all the way, 100%, 25 albums in, 30 yes. some years. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we can't wait to go to the concert. But you know, I want to talk about our affirmation word. Let me let you all know a little something. My affirmation word is all about forgiveness. It's so important that we tune in to who we are yes. as individuals and understand that it's always okay to forgive if you're gonna keep trying over and over and over again. Stop, look, and listen. Yes. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what Will says. Yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> what is your affirmation word? You just said it, listen. <laughs> you know, just listening to his voice, listening to his songs, it just makes you take a moment, a pleasant moment. So my word is listen. You know, that's what it's all about. When you think about the On Your Now flow, you think about music. It's so soothing to the soul. You have to understand the value of forgiveness. When you listen to music, you understand that it's all about love. Yes. But again, you got to remember to listen. Put that into action. Until next time, keep your cups full. Go out and create some vibrant vibes. Keep sipping peace, love, and positivity. And remember, tomorrow isn't promised. So On Your Now. Hey boss. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. You sure? I said I'm fine. Since I was little, it was only like me and my parents. You think you created family out of characters? Yeah, of course. I'm gonna take that, and make it into a song. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You can talk to me. It's been really, really hard for me. This is the story of a boy who didn't talk for a long time. The boy liked things to always be the same. Any changes would scare and upset him. The unknown was an unfriendly place. The boy was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. 
He wasn't trying to be mean. It just made him feel uncomfortable. Sometimes he would flap his arms again and again. One day, I found out I have something called autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I found my voice and learned all the ways I could live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. I don't remember how it started. Oh. Our back and forth. Victory. Fumble. Repeat. It always came back. <laughs> Okay, here we go, throw it! <laughs> yeah. You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Nice. When I first saw a Turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day. He's an incredible companion and my best friend. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. It's a sensory thing. It's a thing with Asperger's. I've seen adults react to my daughter when she has meltdowns, like she's from a different planet and this little animal just sat next to my child and was just like, you know, it's gonna be cool. When I retired from the Navy, I found myself in a void in my life that had been filled by the people that I served with. Tommy really brought an important factor to my life. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. Whoa. But now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome, we need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. STEM is precise, no margin for error. Dare to forget that. Dare to have fun with it. Get weird with it. Dare to load their minds. Dare to explore. Dare to STEM. 